created to revive the spirit of the creativity that came from the Commodore 64, Retro 64 was a virtual company founded by professional game developer Mike Bow and focused on developing and publishing independent games such as Venice, Waterbugs, Cosmobots, Marbles Deluxe, Z-Ball, Warheads SE, and two of my personal favourites, Platypus and Best Friends, also known as Best Friends Forever in some places. Over the course of six years up until 2007, Retro64 assembled an elite virtual team of artists, designers, programmers, developers, and were all supervised by Mike himself. The company PopCap, who published their game Venice, took interest in the company in 2007, but soon Retro64 and all its assets were acquired by them. But what happened to the games? Some of them that were published by PopCap or other studios are still available to purchase on Steam or other platforms but some of them such as Marbles Deluxe and more notably Best Friends are nowhere to be seen, only in archives. But luckily for me I have a physical copy of Best Friends. Yes, a physical copy. Hey ain't this cool? Oh wait, it has a spelling error on the back, oops. So it just says the game has wonderful physics when it should be physics. You had one job guys. I assume a lot of these games can be picked up fairly cheap online somewhere, but I also assume some of these won't have been physically made, and this is ultimately the problem for digital games. Unless they're archived, they're essentially lost to time. Also a fun thing to note, Best Friends was reskinned by Nickelodeon to promote Spongebob under the title Spongebob Squarepants 3D Odyssey. It basically played the same, it just had Spongebob Squarepants slapped over it. In the early 2016 days of my channel, I actually played this for a video. Yeah, these models are horrifying. Also another thing to note, the Best Friends soundtrack slaps, honestly. So do you remember Retro64? Let me know. Thank you all for watching. What should the next Forgotten Internet be about? See you next time. Bye bye.